in this video i will discuss the difference between cartilaginous fishes and bony fishes cartilaginous fishes belong to the class chondrichthyes while bony fishes belong to the class osteichthyes chondrichthyes is a greek word chondros mean cartilage and ichthys mean fish so chondrich chondrichthyes mean cartilage fish while osteos mean bone and again ichthys mean fish so the meaning of osteichthyes is bony fish the examples of uh, cartilaginous fishes are sharks all the sharks like dogfish sawfish they are uh, chondrichthyes scads rays and chimeras all these are the examples of cartilaginous fishes chimeras are commonly known as red fishes wild bony fishes include trout salmon lebio catla eel and lung fishes uh, habitat cartilaginous fishes are exclusively marine it means that they are found only in the uh, sea water or in the oceans while bony fishes osteichthyes they live both in fresh water as well as marine water mostly they are found in the fresh water bodies but some of them are present in the sea water or in the ocean second is about their endoskeleton the cartilaginous fishes have an endoskeleton which is made up of cartilage only while osteichthyes have a bony endoskeleton next is about their exoskeleton in case of cartilaginous fishes the skin is either naked not covered with scales as in chimeras while uh, sharks rays and scads they have placoid scales which are in the form of dermal denticles these are minute scales while bony fishes their skin is covered with either cycloid scales or tenoid scales next is about the position of mouth in cartilaginous fishes the mouth is ventral in position as you can see in the diagram while in case of bony fishes the mouth is terminal in position terminal means that it is at the interior end of the body while ventral in position means that the mouth is not at the interior end it is lying on the ventral side of the body next is about uh, upper coelom upper coelom is also known as gill cover in case of cartilaginous fishes the gill slits they are exposed and they are not covered with upper coelom the upper coelom is absent in cartilaginous fishes while in case of bony fishes the gills are covered with gill cover which is also known as upper coelom so in bony fishes the upper coelom is present next is about swim bladder which is also known as air bladder the air bladder it is absent in cartilaginous fishes while in case of bony fishes the swim bladder is present and it is used for buoyancy or it is used for respiration it helps in respiration and swim bladder is mostly present in lung fishes lung fishes are also known as dipnoi next difference is about the um, shape of caudal fin caudal fin is also known as tail fin in case of cartilaginous fishes the caudal fin is heterocircle heterocircle means that the two lobes of the caudal fin are unequal in size in case of bony fishes the caudal fin is either homocircle or diphycircle homocircle means that both lobes of the caudal fin are uh, equal in size uh, i have shown it uh, through a diagram 
you can see that in case of uh, cartilaginous fishes the caudal fin the two lobes are uh, unequal in size the upper lobe we can say the dorsal lobe is larger in size and the lower lobe the ventral lobe is smaller in size in case of bony fishes the caudal fin is homocircle or diphy circle here i have shown homocircle and you can see both lobes of the caudal fin are equal in size next difference is about the nitrogenous waste materials cartilaginous fishes excrete urea as they are living in the sea water so they excrete urea they are known as ureotelic bony fishes they excrete ammonia and they are known as ammonotelic next is about the mode of fertilization in case of cartilaginous fishes fertilization of gametes is internal occurring inside the body of uh, female fish as uh, the male uh, fishes they have claspers which act as copulatory organs so in cartilaginous fishes the fertilization is internal while in case of bony fishes there are no copulatory organs so the fertilization is external occurring outside the body of female in the water next is about their next is either they are oviparous or viviparous cartilaginous fishes they give birth to the young ones so they are viviparous and they produce fewer offspring while bony fishes they are oviparous and they lay eggs the eggs contain a large amount of yolk which is sufficient for the complete development of embryo so the egg is basically macrolecithal egg it means that bony fishes they lay macrolecithal eggs which is also known as megalecithal eggs and bony fishes they produce a large number of offspring as compared to cartilaginous fishes Uh, so it was about the differences between cartilaginous fishes and bony fishes now i will ask uh, some questions from you now i have uh, some fill in the blanks for you the study of fish is known as second question is the other name of lung fishes is and the last question is red fishes are also known as so students write the answers of these questions in the comment box hope you like the video don't forget to subscribe the channel